Nze Ephraim nyonyi ntono. Na me Ephraim nyonyi ntono. Omone Patrick together with Lumoma Patrick. Tuwe baza mukama. We thank the Lord. Atuwa daka o akasera karunji wekati. Who has given us such a good time. Nyaolo kanili zembula mubu. I want you to welcome it in your life. Banga kato natalile makutuo kiliza mwale mungu ya tandi kambula mubu. Because surely the Lord will not fail to perfect the work given in your life. Mugendo kiliza mwale mungu. The journey of a person's perfection. One of the ingredients therein. Ikatondo kwa nukula. Ebi buzo vyo mtu. Lunaku kulunaku. Sawa kusawa. Dachika kudachika. It's for the Lord to answer person's question upon his heart. Day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Tuli manyanti katonda aliwamu na awe. You will never know that the Lord is with you. Okutusa ngufunye choku damu. Echechi serechi. Not until you get an answer for that time. Tuli manyanti omoyo mtu kufu akuliku umpi nyo. You will never know that the Holy Spirit is so close to you. Okutusa ngufunye choku damu. Not until you've gotten an answer. Natera. And still. Tuli manyanti katonda ya kufako. You will never know that the Lord has departed you. Okutusa ngutuse mbula munga tocha. Tocha alina ansa. Toma incha kudamu. Nga tocha alina chivaita sense of direction. Not until you reach to a life when you have no sense of direction. Buduobi rangu utabudua. Whenever you're puzzled. Just know something has departed. But even though you're in pain, let it be your in tears. Let it be in shame. Let it be your departed or deserted. Let it be someone has deserted you. Even if you are alone, if you have an answer, just know that the Lord is with you, amen. Though I walk in the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil for you are with me amen. Amen. I want the Lord to assure you that he is with you I don't want you to be discouraged I want you to get a smile on your face I want you to encourage yourself. I want you to tell yourself words that others cannot tell you. I feel joy on my heart. For there are people who seek after God. And the Lord is also ready to make them. Say amen. There are people who have a heart that seeks God. God. They insist. They are diligent. They are sitting somewhere. They are writing. They are listening. They have cut off themselves others. Such a one. The Lord is ready to meet in a special way. And your life will not remain the same. I'm giving a, a blessing to talk to a person who knows what they want. I'm giving an opportunity to speak to a person who has a thirst to listen from what the Lord tells them. There is nothing good as that. To speak to a person who has ever heard from God. Like whatever you say, you just dilute it. It's like as if you're diluting it, not because of evil, that it may melt over you. My theme says, On which side are you? On which side are you? I don't know whether I can say it very well and you understand it. The Lord has no many sides. But the Lord has only two sides. Can I bring it more clearly? God does not see the many sides. God only sees two sides. God sees only two sides. Now on which side are you? I don't want to answer for you. And I don't want to compare you to be on my side. And I don't want to push you to be on the other side. But the question I question you is the question I want you to spend the night having answered it because of your destiny and for you to live one level to the other. On which side are you? God does not see many sides. God sees only two sides. But on which side are you? 
Nchimanyi. I know. Maybe there are things that are really taking your time. You feel they've penetrated and they've taken over your mind. And you feel you've decided to move from one side to the other. Maybe the situation has struck you down. And you're like, what is it that I'm just Why do I lose comfort? And you leave where you would have get gotten on which side are you? On which side are you? Before you discover yourself and find out the side on which you are, you get a challenge. Reason being, if you are lukewarm, the Lord will vomit you. I the, the question that I want to leave with you, the person who will pass it is the person who will cross from one side to the other side. Do not be on the side of the words of the people, but be on the side of according to how you feel or what you hear on the side of God. On which side are you? I said it like this. Katonda talaba. God does not see things in many ways. He sees things in only two sides. Because there are only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Even if, if you add on other kingdoms, you know where you derive them from. But there is a kingdom that is fighting after a kingdom. Jesus did not show us any other kind of kingdom. In his promises and explanations, he showed the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of the devil. On which side are you standing? If the Lord sees sides, He does not see it in very many ways. He only sees the other side or the good side. God does not see many sides. He sees a woman, He sees a man. I said, Katonda. God sees Isaac, sees Ishmael. I said the Lord sees only two sides. There is a path that goes to hell and the path that goes to heaven. There is no purgatory. The Lord sees a narrow, a narrow gate and a wide gate. I say the Lord sees Jacob and sees Esau. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. The sons of Israel come from Egypt to Canaan amid this alternative. In between there is no alternative. From Egypt to Canaan if you have other two things that you know you would have to but me. if you've discovered them please tell me I say there is hell there is heaven there is not any other third party I don't know how I can explain this to you. how many things that you know that work in pairs that I may explain to you God does not see many God sees death and life. You may decide to have a life or to have death. God does not see any other things. He sees a blessing or a curse. He sees failure or success. 
Give me more things. What other things do you know that there are two? Whatever you revealed unto, write it. Darkness, light, everything. The Lord sees only two. The Lord knows only two religions on earth. If you began yours, it's up to you. On earth, there are only two religions. God knows only two religions. The first religion is of the unbelievers. The second religion is for the believers. That whoever does not believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Whoever does not believe that Christ is the son of the Lord. <laughs> that that is the, 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 the murderer. I want to tell you that Jesus has two arms. Some will be on the left and others will be on the right. Their hands. No one will say that let this religion be on this left side. The there are two sides. Kono. There's the right and the left. The, the right on the right, the, the believers on the right. Those who believe in Jesus on the right. Satan. And those who believe in the devil. Although all who fail to believe will be on the left. The Lord has sheep and goats. In between them there is no turkey. You've understood what I've said. On which side are you? Are you, are you on the left or the right? Why? The side on which you are is the side where your inheritance is. Oh. The side on which you are is the side where your inheritance is. If you're on the divine side, your, your inheritance is in divinity. And if you're on the evil side, it is undeniable. Your inheritance is on the evil side. No one can really convince you that you belong to the devil. Yet you know it and sure you're not of the devil. Because, because what you do is what affirms you whether you belong to God or to the devil. If a person comes and convicts you and tells you you're evil and you belong to the devil, don't argue with such a one. Don't abuse them, don't mock them. Just assure them with your actions. Just assure them with your words and your deeds. And you as a person, assure yourself with your mind and thoughts. What tells you is your mind and thoughts. What ascertains others who you are are your actions. If a person tells you you belong to God and you do not want to belong to God, don't argue. Don't tell them I do not belong to God. Don't please God Just do your actions. Only your actions will explain who you are. If you've known it, say amen. If you're on God's side, your inheritance is in God. If you're on the evil side, your inheritance is in the devil. I believe don't try to call yourself who you're not. And don't try to convince many people who you're not. Because it, what was written, that you shall be, see my people by their actions. The things you struggle to, with, 
Ascertain that you're on God's side. And the things you've surrendered to you. As you encourage yourself. Assure you that you're a son of the devil. Someone has understood what I'm saying. They are men and women of this house. I'm not merely talking about the people of UCC who are gathering from here. But I'm talking to the people of my clan who have the hunger and thirst for righteousness and holiness who have the hunger and thirst of the perfection of their inner man having a hunger and thirst if you know it you have a hunger and thirst and eternal life and you want to grow up to mount to the stature of Christ your inheritance is in Christ amen no one will take it away from you you do not need to speak for it. I feel delighted. I feel bravery to speak to a woman and man of God who feels it that what it is is not merely spoken about for. But is sure of it. Whoever is certain of who he is. Does not, does not hear from outside. He rather hears from inside of him. Your heart is your first prophet. Before they convict you, your heart will convict you. Before they weaken you, your heart will weaken you. What do you feel? On which side are you? On which side? Of the two sides. Of the two faith and religion. On which religion are you? You of, on the religion of the unbelievers. Or in the line of the believers. It compelled Jesus. To, di to divide his team. He had 12 disciples. And he said I have to divide them. I have to separate them. I want the three here and the nine this side. He did, he did never Nagamba, want it. And say, let me have the few who are on my side and having many who are just of forgery. He did it. Nagamba, and he said that I'm sending you to the babiri babiri. But I want to send you to two. Babiri babiri. I want to send you in pairs. Now let everyone decide where he falls. But I want to broadly tell you that whoever hears this word and your heart yearns to be what the Lord created you to be. Your heart is yearning to hold on to God. Your heart is yearning to know God. You do not belong to the devil. You belong to God. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will break for you. The Lord will help you go through in Jesus' name. Amen. There is no word that will discourage you. Because you know what you want. There is nothing that will confuse you. Because he who began a good work in you is going to complete it. Say amen. Galatians 3 verse 29. Galatians 3 verse 29 and if you belong to Christ then you are Abraham's seed and hairs according to the promise there are two how many sides there are two sides there are two sides they don't fix in another person but no, maybe we belong to Moses. But maybe. But maybe we belong to David. No. All the other people that I talked about. Their root is Abraham. And the journey that they began. Who perfected it? Was Christ. Was Christ. Was Christ. Was Christ. The genesis of our destiny is in Abraham. That is where God begins to separate the believers from the unbelievers. 
Ukuva Adam lo yayonona. Since Abra, Ab, Adam sin. Katonda yajate kawawo kugeze sibo kwenja ulo. The Lord came putting there different tests. Yajate kawawo kugeze sibo kwenja ulo. He came fixing different tests. Oko kwe kwa ya ula Abel kukaini. That is what descend Abel from Cain. Oko kwe kwa ya ula bafira mumataba na baba wana wa mumataba. That is what separated those who died in the flood and those who survived the flood. And the Lord said, now I have discovered it. I want to to start a nation that will be a model I want to start a nation that will be an example in their days in their generations I want to place a man who will become an example that he may train the sons and the grandchildren of his children to walk in my ways I want to implant a person who will live in the flesh but hearken to the inner voice who will hearken to the voice of secrecy but he is in Physical. He spoke to Abraham Sakrati, and said, Leave your mother and father's land and go to the land that I will show you. The man passed it. He found challenges therein. He wanted to leave the land. But the Lord did not depart him. The Lord gave him another test. And told him what you're going to do. Your son. Your one son. But before he mounted to that. He gave him another test. In chapter 15. And told him Abraham. I am your reward. The sons that you will begat will be many as the stars of the sky. Uncountable. Bible yetugamba. The Bible tells us that in such a time Abraham believed God that it was counted on him to be righteous. But what did this do? As the Lord told him that your sons will be many as the stars. I see Abraham moving out. I see him moving out. As a man who believes. And says that now step. I don't lose a step. I'm counting star after star star after star he counted the stars I don't know on which number he ended but the more he counted it was counted on him he believed on God and he was counted to be righteous the Lord gave him another test and said to him give me your one son that you love he gave him the son no one since then has believed God in what is guided into and you remain the same. Every promise of Abraham whoever came after Abraham and believed as Abraham believed on God every promise of Abraham he walked through it. The reason as why well I stand here today. I have a lot to speak. I've come to encourage you that if you're on Abraham's side and you believe Jesus Christ and you believe Jesus Christ and as we belong to Christ we are Abraham's descendants. We, 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 ha have, we have a portion of our inheritance from Abraham. It's the reason as why every scripture that we read and the Lord spoke it with Abraham works for us. It still works for us. Every promise. Abraham is the initiator of the vision. Huh? He began the vision. Ibrahim, Abraham. Abraham. Is, is, 
is with whom the vision of the Lord that makes nations began with. Because the vision of God is of nation. Is for nations. And he told him from you out of you, all the tribes of this world will be blessed. All the tribes, all the kings will come from you. As the Lord was speaking to Abraham, it was a journey of nations. He spoke to him keywords. He got out of him a nation and this nation is seen out of Jacob out of the sons of Jacob that he begat. And the Lord started a journey. But one of the things I've been following, everyone who had a heart, who had a heart of a nation, the Lord did not desert such a one. The Lord did not depart such a one. In between Abraham and Moses, I see Moses rising up with a heart that loves to fight for his nation. After he had discovered that he's not an Egyptian but he's an Israelite. The Lord did not end with us. When he discovered the same seed in David, that though he was far in the bush taking care of the sheep, but he did not want some, someone to defile the nation of God. When he came out to fight at 17 years, to fight Goliath who had fought for a long time, the Lord holds him and introduces him. And since then, in David's journey, we fall in the hand of Christ. And he came with the same vision of turning or transforming nations into disciples. It is amazing and true. The reason as to why Abraham was chosen to make his descendants and children disciples to train them what he had learned from God. And when Jesus comes, he came with the same vision. And it was extreme. It was not only in Israel, but it was for the entire nation. Yes. Jesus. He put into action or practice that the Lord had introduced to Abraham. Why do I say all this? The Lord begins with a person and he works within many and he perfects a person. I repeat myself. God begins with one person on every issue under the earth. Everything that you see existing what under the earth, there is one he began with. There is one who initiated it. Others supplement with their knowledge. And others enjoy it. Whatever you see under the earth, it began with someone. God began with Abraham. His descendants entered into it. At the end, that out of the seed of David, there comes the king of peace. Jesus was born. And he fulfilled the vision of God. The vision of nations into action since then. God is amazing, he never rested. When Jesus came to put into action the vision of the nations, the Lord chose Paul. The Lord chose Paul. 
as the link or connection between the New and Old Testament. The role that Paul played cannot be explained in words. He was a Pharisee. He learned the law. He was a professor in the law. He was a professor of those days. But the Lord chooses on him. This time round. That he can connect the new and old testament. Oh, all of Paul's teachings and doctrines and letters that he wrote, he was establishing the scriptures in the Old Testament. We wouldn't have known of it that to we who are in Christ Jesus that we are Abraham's seed that we have an inheritance as the promise of the Lord was. But praise be to God who chose Paul who chose Paul and told him Paul I choose you arise on your feet. Arise. Mkulonze. I have chosen you to be a witness of all the words on which I will reveal myself to you. Today, even with the Gentiles, we have a voice. We speak broadly. We speak with love. We speak with love. We think about the love of Jesus that throws us into the promises. Why? Why? The good explanation of Paul brings us into knowledge to know the importance of the Old Testament in our days. And if anyone comes to you and mocks and speaks ill of the Old Testament or he's weakening it in his teaching, he does not know what he's talking about. He's diverting of the course. He's taking you from the side on which you ought to Na be. But as we belong to Christ and we are Abraham's descendants and, and we are in his inheritance as the promise of God was. Today, I want to tell you that the Lord who began a good work is going to complete it. Here where we are. There is someone who heard from God. The one who heard from the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The one who heard from the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father, the author, the owner of the revelation of nations. Even with the black men, the Lord brought us into his grace. He brought us into his grace to be co-heirs with Abraham. What is amazing? After the father had I said after the initiator of this house heard from God deriving the words from the source every word that he had from the Lord and he spoke it here we have an inheritance amen because the ones he had it from had an inheritance and that inheritance was from Abraham we have an inheritance because there is someone who had something and we believed on it. I want to tell you this. You have a church. You have a church. You have a church. If you know all the words that the servant of the Lord who leads that church had from God. You do not have a pastor because he stands before you and speaks to you. 
You do not have a pastor because he talks to you every Sunday. But you have a pastor because he had, he had and least heard from God and whatever he heard from God whenever he explains and you understand then you are a cohort together with him who heard and even when he passes away what he had is not going to pass away they will still go on and they will make you in your generation Amen. and if you will tell others as you have the share and portion you had over it is, is the same share they are going to get from it you do not have a pastor not until you've understood what the Lord spoke to him. It means if you've not yet understood it, maybe you have a problem. And I repeat myself, though churches are not gathering may not gather where the people are scattered or anywhere let it be your job to kill anywhere you can stay knowing that I have a pastor though I'm far away but I have my tribe met whatever he speaks makes me inside your depths calls for depth and metal sharpens metal if what you had is connected to what I had whatever you do benefits me and whatever I do benefits you you have no pastor and let me repeat myself you do not have believers you may have people from whom you get an offering from there may be people that you get a tithe from but you do not have believers not until you get you have those or you find you get those who heard from God and they understand they do and what they understood makes them. Because your perfection on earth you as a servant is, is is equivalent to the people that the Lord separated for you to, to perfect. People can sit before you like a hundred. But the Lord has about four people that he wants you to perfect. And after they are perfected, he said your work is done. Now the four take on what is remaining. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. He had twelve. And he made them sit for three hours. He separated three for himself. And they did the work. He added on the fourth one. Later on. After his intention. He added on to them. Paul. But he had three and he did a work in them a work of purpose and even though they left they left a message Peter left a message Jacob left a message James and, and John left a message you will ask me what those of Nathaniel did I don't know you will ask me what the rest did I don't remember and you tell me this one walked with Jesus was one of the two where is his ending how was it I may not explain it but of those he saw a circle he separated them even though he had left he had left this world but he left a seed after 2000 years the three he separated 
said Nenu mumawanga Injiri echabu uri wamumanya gomo yomu tukuhu Amen Even here in the nation the doctrine is superished in the name of the Holy Spirit Chitege such It means Katonda ba wamu tukole sewa If God gives a person a vision Tetuwe siwa kumufu Let us not cling on a dead person Tetuwe siwa kumuntu biya yugera We cling on what a person said because who spoke may die but whatever he spoke because they are living he derived them from somewhere that is our inheritance and these things will stand we hold on to what he had because all other things will perish away but the word of God shall not perish a man the words of people may perish but he who heard from God and that is why we do not struggle Lord speak to me Lord talk to me the, the Lord may speak to you but what he speaks to you just ascertains and affirms what he says the other one the sacred is the vision nurtures a vision a person with a vision when he sits before a person who has a vision what was in him will sprout out you wouldn't have known that you have a pastor not until the one you listen to and the one you seated before when he speaks his tears what is within you the one who speaks tears what is within you is, is one who brings you into perfection is one who brings you into discovering yourself and, and you learn what the Lord has called you to be we don't cling on people because of what you want to get on them but we hold on to people because of what you want to hear from them because what you want to hear from them is what made them if it made them amen it can make us in the name of Jesus let me wind up then we enter into prayer second chronicles Second Chronicles Chapter 29 Whoever has an NIV help me I'm beginning to read. Yes. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Listen to this as I'm winding up. Those in the machines you can put on for us a version that is of NIV. Dawudi, oh sorry, Second Chronicles, Abir Mumuenda, Second Chronicles, twenty-nine. Hezekia yatano lokufuga ngai akamaze miaka amakumi abiri muetano. Hezekia began to reign when he was. Kamari zoko kusoma then you read verse by verse. Okay. Hezekia na yatano lokufuga ngai akamaze miaka amakumi abiri muetano. Na fugine miaka makumi abiri mumuenda Mujerusalemi Nenyina erinyalie yali abia Mwala wazakalia Hezekia began to reign when his father was Five and twenty years old And he reigned Nine, nine and twenty Years in Jerusalem And his mother's name was Abijah The daughter of Zechariah Bible ya tugamba The Bible tells us Praise be to the Lord. Yes, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that David his father had done. 29. 28. Yeah. 
akazi yali akamaze emyaka makumi abiri bwe yatanula okufuga osobola kusoma kuva ali ku screen akazi yali akamaze emyaka amakumi abiri bwe yatanula okufuga nafugira emyaka kumi na mukaga mu Yerusalemu nata kole ebyo ebyali mu maso ga mukama ebirunji nga Daudi kitawe 28:1 Ahaz was was 20 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem but he did not he did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord like David his father Amen Katuliriza abantu bano ba mirundi ebiri Listen to these two people. I asked on which side are you? The reason as to why I question this question are the two kinds of people. One called Ahaz and one called Hezekiah. It is amazing that if you want to wonder and get a lesson that when God begins to do a work in a person, he drives it. Many people have a vision But whoever has a vision has, has to know when this vision is buffed Because when you reach to this man Abraham We see a vision begin to sprout at out again in Moses. Then we see the grace of the Lord bringing uh, coming out again on David. Then next we see Christ. Then Christ is the beginning of it all. He's the one who perfects them all. He perfects the New and Old Testament and the work of Paul was to connect the New Testament to the Old Testament. But this is what is existing. This man Ezekiah did good things before the Lord. And Ahaz Ahaz did what was evil before the Lord. Bible yamulopi ne gambanti. Nata tambulida muma kubo gas baseka. Nata tambulida. Okay. Nata kola. Ebi ebi ali ebi runji muma soga mukama. Ngat Dawudi chitawe. The Bible says that Ahaz did not do what was right in the eyes of the Lord as David his father. Hezekiah. Hezekiah. He did all that was, was right before the Lord as David his father did. There are two people. There are two people. From one man. But one had decided to walk in the uh, or to leave his father's path and do his desires. But one decided and said that my father's path is in which I will flow. I speak unto the church. If the Lord blesses you and you have your pastor and you know whom you believe in and he entrusts you for a preparation to enter into God's inheritance. Do only one thing. Walk in the path of the man of God. Walk in the path of the words that you heard. The words will make you and you end up well. The Bible is amazing. If you read about us, he reigned many years after the death of David. If you read Ezekiah, they are about two generations before. Six kings who had gone. But they bring him next. They bring him in. And they say, 
That, that Hezekiah did what was right before the Lord as his father did. He would have been his grand, 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 grandfather, but they say his father, David. There is a situation when the Lord speaks to a man. The words that the Lord spoke to him will make a generation and make another generation and make another generation that whoever comes in that season then, they will work for him. This is what I want to tell you the beloved. That God blessed us unto a man who has blessed us in this place he had something from God and what he had from God is our inheritance unto we who believe in the God of Abraham is a Jacob that is our inheritance in Christ Jesus and that is our inheritance from, from he who had from the Lord I want to say this there are many people who suffer because they missed on their inheritance there are many people who are on the world and suffering they missed their inheritance those who are to be heirs, the, the inheritance was taken away from them and given to others. And to some you'll find them in this world and they are on this nation. Because the people they had to succeed saw their character and it wasn't good and they took away the inheritance. Now they are, those such people are there. But life is not easy. But the secret of a person who will walk in their inheritance is in nurturing, being nurtured. The inheritance of the people who will see success in this life is in, being, is in them being nurtured. A person who loves to be nurtured is the only one who is going to enter into his inheritance, walk in it, delight in it, and it moves from him to another generation. Whoever does not want to be nurtured will miss out to every divine thing that was prepared for him. I speak it here. Go and make research. As they talk about about Hezekiah, he was about 25 years. Patrick, your name is 29. 29. Yes. I was older than Hezekiah. He began to reign at 25 years. But what made Hezekiah, though he began to reign when he was young, he has a mother called Abijah. Who, who nurtured e him, him and helped him e and corrected him that he did what was right. And all the stories he never knew. Abia Abijah knew them. Zachariah's daughter. But Ahaz who did not know the sacred of him that did not do what he was supposed to do. I speak to you a believer who is listening to me. If you want to be perfected that you may get of the inheritance of Isaac and Jacob and, and walk in the promise of God that they may work for you. Love to be nurtured. So much love to be nurtured. Live the life of a person who is uh, uncontrollable. Independent and uncontrollable. 
Ali uncontrollable. A person who is uncontrollable. Thank Omuntu you. A person who is uncontrollable. A person with whom they don't Omuntu tell anything. Nyezebwa. A person who is not condemned. Omuntu a person who is not advised. If you do not want to be condemned. If you do not want to be advised. You will never walk the inheritance of the Bible. And no scripture will befall you. And any scripture that will be perfected unto you in you. Anything, anything or scripture that would be perfected unto your life in its perfect way or good, it will befall on you in an evil way. So you want to do speed your mind in a job of lunch. Thank you. To end up Marisa. Chino Chino Chenjago Quatulina. This is what I want to tell you. Goy Botomania Luda Rolico. If you do not know your sight, instead of scriptures being perfected on you in good, they will be perfected unto you in bad. But if you accept to be nurtured, to be corrected, to be told unto what is wrong, the scriptures will be perfected on you in good. And the promise of God will be manifested in the world. If you have known it, say amen. Whenever you do not uh, accept to be natural, whenever you do not accept counsel, there is something you miss. There is something you miss. I know that there are many people who are challenged who are challenged but their challenge comes from what they are today is in the inheritance of their parents. But it's so sorrowful. It brings sorrow. That those who are well off today, because of the inheritance of their parents, I'm telling you, they don't know the source of the blessing they are in. And if not, they will end up poorly. I repeat myself. Maybe today that where you are is where you wouldn't have been. But you're in the promise that the Lord promised your parents. But what is what is Where your parents got a blessing you don't know. You will not be what you are. But God spoke to your parents. When he spoke to your parents, the words he spoke to your parents. You are just harvesting all the harvest of the words that the Lord said to your parents. Some of you, you're in the promises that the Lord spoke to your grandies. That new God and gave themselves. And clung on to God that the Lord fulfilled His promise. But what is evil, what is dangerous, you, the descendants, the sons of God, office. you are in a good office. To be in that office in which you are, you don't know what it means for you to sleep in the house in which you sleep. Your mother, your grandfather parent died in a grass house for you to eat and feed the way you for your sons to be in the schools in which they are for the children you've bathed in nations where you are they speak good English which you did not speak good English they speak good English that they are granted in the They speak English that your grandees did not speak. 
Behind you there was a promise There is a grandfather, grandmother who knew God There is a grandmother, grandfather who knew God The Lord gave them a promise Maybe you won the lot And you are in the parliament Maybe you are in the LOC district. Maybe you are in the district Maybe you are in any part of the district Maybe you are abroad but I want to tell you whether you're sleeping in class, and you have titles in this city whatever you are has a prayer it has a promise but if you will not know the Lord who entrusted you with what you are today your ending will not be good but if you understand God the Lord who keeps the covenant the Lord who says and said unto Moses I've remembered my covenant with Abraham. These are not the right ones. These are not the holy ones. These are not the perfect people. But there is a covenant that I say with the forefather of their forefathers. I have remembered. They are not on me. But because of him, I promised him to divide. I promised him to have a house I promised him when he was sleeping under a leaky grass house I promised him that your descendants out of him will come the most who will become ministers who will become members of parliament who will eat up the nation who will come out of a child and build in Uganda they will come out of Buganda and be in America that is the promise of God when God takes one from Buganda and to Kenya and to Bunyoro and is a mighty person and is wealthy the Lord gets a person from Uganda Uganda. and takes them to the east takes a person from Busoga and to Kumi the Lord is on promises that he gave to their forefathers I wind up saying check yourself who you are what you are if what you are was birthed out of sorcery and your family was of sorcery I may not fail you the side on which you are run, run, run into sorcery that you may establish yourself in that but if you know that what you are had a foundation of a prayer behind they are grandies of grandies of grandies and grandies of those who knew God go back and draw it that your ending may be good but if you do not do it like that you will take what you've took but the sons of your sons of your sons four generations their ending will be misery I don't want to make a, a bad prophecy but I'm bringing a, a, a warning. The side on which you draw your blessing should be the side you see. The side on which you took your blessing is the side you should cling on. It's the side you should cling on. The Lord knows you. And the Lord is seeing you. I don't want you to be sorrowful. You know well the family from which you came. If it is a sorcery family. And you've seen those who are sorcerers and they failed. Run unto the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord will save you. Why have you had this? You're going to take a reproach off your family. You're the Moses of this day. Who will change the history of your father's house. May the Lord be with you. Tukuimusa, ukusinga, ensimbi.
Tukuyimusa Okusinga byonna Yesu Tukuyimusa Okusinga feza neza Wakuru Enyo Tukuyimusa 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 Okusinga Ensimbi Tukuyimusa Okusinga Byonna Yesu Tukuyimusa Okusinga Feza Neza Wangu Enyo Tukuyimusa 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 Okusinga Ensimbi Tukuyimusa
We come before you thanking you Lord For your name is a great hate upon us The righteous are refuge And they are right in the life I want to thank you Lord you are taking us from Sunday, and you are taking us Sunday, and you are taking us Sunday. I pray for the men and women who hear my voice from the right to the left from the east to the west Whoever he is and he is hearing this voice, the Lord prepare them to enter into their inheritance. If the Lord has known and remember that you've understood the source of your victory, and you've discovered the side on which you ought to stand. May the Lord hurriedly perfect you and fulfill you by you. My prayer to you do not die before doing the will and the purpose of the Lord. Never die before doing the reason the purpose of why God Never die without doing the purpose of your creation. If your heart still seeks for the Lord and your heart loves to be nurtured and you love to be condemned and you love to be told about never die Die without doing the will of God. Be blessed in the name of Jesus, the Son of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for being with us in this service. Thank you for you know what you want. Thank you for diligently studying and seeking the Lord. I want you to open up the doors of your heart. Do not depart God. Do not desert God. Things that are fighting you will continue. And things that discourage you will continue. But he who began a good work is going to finish it. Do not get discouraged. Hold from the side on which you are and really water it. The Lord will bless you. Get hold of your offering, your tithe, your free will offering, any pledge that you feel upon your heart, and any way you feel to please God, any way you feel to please God, you to please God. hold your offering, and we offer unto King Jesus. Jesus. Remember whatever you do, has what it profits. Your offering, Offering. When churches are not gathering, it helps us to go on with the works of the The reason as to why we still are alive is the reason as to why you who are distant. 
your offering has met this work Lord. the Lord is going to escape you the Lord is going to escape you and those that will befall you will amaze you not only you but everyone who will know you I pray for you in the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless what you offer. May the Lord appreciate what you offer. May the Lord love what you offer. May the Lord come after what you offer. Let you lack nothing. Let Let you lack nothing. As others are lacking, you will not lack. As others are lacking, you will not lack. As others lack what to lay before their sons and children, you will not lack it. Let God bless what you offer. 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 Let God bless what you you may write a check it will reach to us may the Lord bless you let us read you our account number that is in Centenary Bank United Christian Center is the name the account number is 31 000 17862 31 000 17862 let me repeat it in Luganda check check account Account at the Centenary Bank. Eranga erinya ya account eno at the United Christian Center. A number ya account juandike. It is satu emo naughty naughty naughty. Kumi namsamvu china nam mokaga esembia ubiri. Ate mwaba wereza ku mobile money. Mobile money number zafe. Mobile money number. Eri. Eya MTN eri noti musanvu munana tano noti tano munana tano nya noti zero seven eight five zero five eight five four zero eya tere eri noti musanvu noti mukaga tano nya noti emu noti biri zero seven zero six five four zero one zero two thank you. Namulunji mukama. Mukama mulunji, nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji echisera chona Mukama, aba mulunji echisera chona Nga mulunji mukama Mukama mulunji, nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji echisera chona Nga mulunji mukama Mukama mulunji, nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji chisera chona Mulunji mukama Mukama mulunji Nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji chisera chona Nga mulunji mukama Yesu mulunji Nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji chisera chona Nga mulunji mukama Mukama mulunji Nga mulunji mukama Aba mulunji chisera chona Aba mulunji Aba mulunji Aba mulunji Oh, my God. 